Welcome to Busy Bride 101, wedding planning tips for the bride on the go. I'm your host, Lisa G. McMillan, wedding planner at Exquisite Events and Consulting. When you connect with someone who shares your enthusiasm for life and embodies grace through challenging times, it's your mission to keep that person in your circle. My guest today, Mary Bell, owner of Mary Bell Events, is one of those to cherish and I invite you to get to know her. Professionally, she's a wedding planner, event designer, and florist. To me, she's a total visionary. On top of that, she's an outdoor enthusiast who flourishes in the fast lane. Motorcycling and running are just a few of the many ways Mary embraces life away from weddings. Welcome, Mary. And thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me, Lisa. This is such a joy and an honor. Thank you for for considering me and choosing me to be a special guest today. Well, you are definitely a gem in my crown of jewels. (laughs) And I was so thrilled when you were able to say that you were going to participate as a guest. Have you encountered any couples considering postponing their weddings? And if so, how did you coach them through the planning process? Oh my goodness, yes. 2020 and even into 2021 has been a landscape that I don't think anyone, (laughs) anyone in the wedding industry or in the love industry ever dreamed would be possible. And, And every single one of my couples has been saddled with very, very big decisions in the last 18 months. Well, I guess I should narrow that down. Probably more like the last 14 months. That would be a more accurate answer. It's been very challenging for all of my couples and everyone has to, is charged with and has to make the decision that is ultimately best for them. And of course, there's a lot of input from expectations, a lot of input from family, a lot of input from politics and policies and regulations and and all of the things that are weighing on couples. I feel like despite all of the layers of pressure and unanswered questions that couples during a pandemic have been facing, the best advice that I have given them and will continue to give them is one that comes from my heart. And I feel extremely convicted to encourage my my brides and grooms to get married. Get married! (laughs) <laughs> Do not wait for COVID to be over. Do not wait for for Aunt Sally to make certain that she's going to make it. Start your life. Get married, even if it means a smaller wedding, even if it means a different vision. You have to trust that your planning team, your venue, your vendors are going to stand behind you and bring an adjusted vision to life and to perfection. The most important thing is to hold true to the meaning of your union, which is to start your life together. And when you decide who it is that you want to start your life with, you want your life to start as soon as possible. So do it and don't let anything stand in your way. Sometimes it's just as simple as just do it. Don't postpone love. Don't postpone love. Amen. (laughs) The pandemic has caused us to look at things very differently. Is there any one thing that you've learned about yourself during these challenging times? I have. I learned a lot about myself. I I think similarly to everyone, it's sort of a a reevaluation of priorities. And it's allowed us all to take a step back and to reevaluate where we're spending our time, where we're dedicating our energy. And are those, in fact, the most important pieces of our lives? And again, you know, supporting and reiterating my earlier statement, I think a lot of us have come back to home, come back to center and realize that the most important and most valuable things that we have in this life are our family, our loved ones, our health, our time. And what is a better way to display the value of your priority than to love and dedicate your love and confirm your love by going ahead and getting married? So yes, and all of those things are very true for me as well. And I've actually decided as a planning team to bring on additional 
you know, with so many people being out of work with COVID, so many people in our in, in our industry, good, hardworking people who all they want to do is make people happy. Uh, we've extended our team. I've actually brought on more team members and, and have a, a larger, you know, a larger Mary Bell event staff in an attempt to to help people out in the industry, but also to provide more access and more help to our clients on a day-to-day basis. So it's sort of been an opportunity for us to redesign our business structure so that we can be even better at what we do. Have you noticed for those who have had to postpone their weddings that the original vision versus the final vision for the wedding, the final vision is so much better. It may be smaller in scope, but there's something about the intimacy, the privacy of having that different event because you had to postpone it. It seems to be more, it's hard to find the right word, but it's just perfect. If I can just use it's, that. Uh, I'm going to, to use the word authentic. Through the years and with the rise of the internet and the rise of Pinterest and the rise of all of these amazing, wonderful online resources and and resources at arm's length. Weddings, I think we can all agree, over the course of the last 30 to 50 years has just kind of become bigger and better and brighter and it's become an industry and and it's all about outdoing this wedding or it has to be better than the cousin's wedding and and all of these things. And as a 42-year-old woman, I oftentimes will sit with my clients and say, you know what, let's get back to the basics. Let's get back to why we're here. Let's get back to the meaning of this and the power of this, just the strength of this and bring, let's bring it back to center and authenticate. And you know, the pandemic has, has, has conversely given, given us that opportunity as well, because you kind of do strip away, you strip away all the unnecessaries, not because you wanted to, but because you have to. And, and what you're left with is this very warm, intimate, meaningful, love grounded authenticity. That is what weddings truly should be. It is a beautiful thing. And I'm getting chill bumps just talking about it. It's an energy I and mean, it's an experience that is, is a side effect, right? It's, it, but it is a silver lining and it is truly a blessing. Truly a blessing. And just to piggyback off of that is in the past, I've had a lot of brides and grooms when I talk to them about what they want to happen at their wedding, one of the first things they'll say is, oh, I want to have fun. I want to have the ultimate party. But you know what? The pandemic has kind of changed the wording now because you're still going to have a party and it's still going to be fun. But just like you said now, it's more about the authenticity of it. It's more about why we're here, not about the party that we're going to have thereafter. It really is about the love that we are proclaiming towards each other in front of our friends and our loved ones and we wanted them to be a part of it and they're there and that's the most important part outside of the good food the great music and those dance moves you're ready to show everyone but (laughs) again it's all about the love the love I mean I can party any day of the week but can I get married any day of the week I'm sorry, I'm about to get on my soapbox. Let me stop. I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. And I think that as you, and you know, one of the things that I think COVID, the the pandemic landscape has offered all of us is the, you know, the force into growing up a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit faster, a little growing up a little bit more than we even, we probably even wanted to. But in doing that, again, just kind of realize actually important here. And is it having 25 bridesmaids or is it having my my very best friend standing up there with me? It's, it's a reevaluation and it, it hits every single corner of our lives, our homes, our jobs, our families, our, you know, all of these things, our money, our income. But, you know, it, it's not at all surprising that it has also touched weddings and reprioritized that in the same way it's reprioritized everything else. So just like everything else, right, we have to learn to go with it. We have to learn to go with it. We have to pivot. We have to transition. We have to, to mend and mold so that we're not delaying our lives. We're not, we're adjusting, but we're not going to let it get us down. Exactly. When you reflect upon the weddings you've been involved with, in your opinion, what makes a successful wedding? Oh, that's such an easy answer. It's that moment and we can, it always comes. We know it's there at every single wedding. That's a Mary Bell event, but we don't know when it's going to happen. It's that moment that the bride looks at us with that 
the look of sheer joy, Mm. knowing that everything that she has worked so hard for is there in front. It's all come to life. It's all, it all came to fruition and to perfection. And, and sometimes it happens the moment that she puts on her wedding gown. Sometimes it happens the moment that they turn and begin to recess out of the wedding aisle. Sometimes it happens just before we light the sparkler for the final exit, but it's always there. And that is, it always confirms our level of success. When do you get that sigh of relief during the whole event? When do you just really just say, (laughs) it's the same answer. (laughs) You know, we have our, our love, our sweat, our tears into those weddings, just as much as our, our wonderful brides and their families do. So when we have that, that moment that we can see in her face, how happy she is, how proud she is, then we, we just beam as well. And that's when we know that moment of relief. And, and I don't know, it's really a relief as much as it is just a chance to shine with her. When you think about your experiences as a wedding planner, can you share with our listeners some of your most memorable moments? Oh my goodness. My most memorable moments. <laughs> Those are probably the moments of laughter through the years that sometimes occur with most of the time occur with my couples. We always try to walk into a wedding day. It's it's stressful, let's be honest. You know, I don't it doesn't matter how well planned an event could possibly be. It can be well, you know, orchestrated down to perfection, but it's still going to be stressful because there's a lot of anticipational energy that's flying around. Right. So we always try to walk into a wedding day with smiles and laughter and very good energy when we're able to help a bride feel carefree and joyful. That's the energy that she's going to carry into her wedding and all of her guests are going to pick up on that energy immediately. And a lot of times it starts with the very first person who's in in the door that day, which is usually the hair and makeup team, and then followed by us in the florist. So, you know, we, we set the stage with lots of joy, but is those memories when I think about all of the, oh my goodness, the hundreds and hundreds of amazing weddings and couples that we've worked with, when I think about my favorite memories of them. It's always the smiles and the giggles. And I think that's just what I choose to carry with me, you know. (laughs) And you know, to that other side, it's so lovely that we have the opportunity to work with such incredible venues and vendors too. Because sometimes when, you know, the the laughter is coming from, from the rock star team, that's all there to support that amazing couple. And when you're walking into an event with smiles and laughter and you're walking out of it with the same, that's a pretty darn good day. What would you like for your legacy to be in the wedding industry? And Mary, just so that I can let my listeners know, you've been doing this for a very long time. (laughs) I mean, this is not your first rodeo. We're not going to talk about my age. (laughs) I wasn't going to lead into that. But you bring so much to the table as far as experience and depth and breadth of, of knowing what needs to be done, what type of vendors to bring together to make sure that your event is a signature event. And it's the event that the wedding couple had in mind. So when one day you decide I'm done with this for forever, (laughs) what would you like for your legacy to be? I would like for my leg, and this is a really great question, Lisa. Thank you so much for asking. You know, these, these are this is such a wonderful opportunity for me to actually think think through where I'm coming from in all of this, and and what is it really about for me? So thank you for posing posing, I should say, such wonderful and thoughtful questions for me to consider. I would like for my legacy to be that our approach to wedding planning is one of true care and love. The wedding industry, it's an industry, and there's a lot of people who do a great job, but maybe their heart isn't in the best place, or maybe it's more about the revenue, or or whatever the case may be, or maybe this is a side hustle, or you know they don't love it, but, but we do. I love this, and, and I would like for it to show in, in all that we do, and I would like to be remembered for that that we our events are about truly caring about the couple as individuals 
and as a couple about their vision, about their budget, about their preferences, and that it shines in everything that we do. And that as we leave legacies, that it's one of, of genuineness and of, of true caring. Honey, you've got this down pat. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I enjoy having you as part of my circle, because I can always depend on you to have positive energy, learning new tips or, or technique. You're just the full package girl. Just oh, letting well, you know. Well, you know, I learned it from the best, Miss Lisa. You taught me. You may not remember. You may not remember, but you taught me a lot of this stuff. And, and I won't give away either one of our ages, but... And, <laughs> So it's a true honor to be able to sit and talk with someone who's cut from the same cloth because we are. And it does take a very special person. It takes a special heart. It takes a special character. It takes a special personality to be able to do this well. Now, a lot of people can do it, but can you do it well? And it's so nice to sit in, you know, a group setting, even though digitally, with like-minded people who have that same heart, you know, and it shows and I love it and it empowers me and it, and it validates me. It's really, it helps to motivate me to continue to do what we do and to do it better and better. I could speak to you all day long. And it's always a pleasure to share some ideas, uh, work together and talk about the wedding industry and anything else. I can't say that enough. And you are one of the best in the world. So thank you for being my friend and a top notch vendor in the wedding industry. Well, Lisa, it's my pleasure. And thank you for your professionalism and all that you do. But more so, more than anything, thank you for, for your friendship. I hold it most dear. For more information about Mary Bell Events, visit her website at www.marybellevents.com. Thanks for listening to Busy Bride 101, wedding planning tips for the bride on the go. To keep up with us and learn more tips, follow us on Instagram and on our YouTube channel at Busy Bride 101. Subscribe to get notified of new episodes and to share with your friends. Always remember, your wedding is for the two of you.